A Minneapolis charter school has gained national attention for narrowing the achievement gap. And now it's earning a reputation for producing future teachers. Harvest Preparatory School in North Minneapolis opened in 1992 after the success of the Seed Academy Preschool. Today it has expanded into what is called the Harvest Network of Schools, made up primarily of African American students. Angela Davis shows us how several of the graduates have come back to teach. And what's the pH for neutral? Marika's Jarvis Zero. teaches 7th and 8th grade so, science at so Best Academy, high which high is part of the Harvest Network. What are you two thinking? Her college degree in biochemistry could have led to a career at a big company, but instead it brought her back to the classrooms where her education started. She has fond memories of her years as a Harvest Prep student. I think it taught me a lot of confidence. It taught me a lot of background of who I am as a black person. And I am grateful for that because it allows me to go on and be confident in other settings. 20 years ago, Maya Buckner was also a student at Harvest Prep. Today, she has a master's degree in social work and is on the staff at Best Academy. I, actually, I see myself in all of their faces, especially just wearing those same uniforms, you know, you know, using the same language, walking down these hallways. So I, I see myself in, in each and every one of them. Isaac Anderson is an assistant teacher who graduated from the University of Wisconsin at Madison, where he also played football. As a child, he was a student at Seed Academy and Harvest Prep. Growing up, we, it was instilled in us that it takes a village to raise a child. And that stuck with me since the first day I walked in this building. And from there, it's just instilling that and passing that on to other people, as well as not allowing them to make the same mistakes I did. We call it a walking example. It is. The Harvest Network of Schools serves about 1,300 students. Most are from low-income families, and they are achieving some of the state's highest math and reading proficiency rates for children of color and English language learners. They are making that is this wonderful. Proud and getting national attention. Isn't that great? They came yes. back. Yeah, that, that is, is great. great. And it sounds like all the schools are doing well. So, yeah. are there any plans to expand? Yeah, absolutely. They want to grow. They want to open more schools. Yeah. The founder and CEO Eric McMood would like to open more schools in North Minneapolis so that they're able to serve more students. They want to serve about. 2,500 more students in the community, so they're hoping to open in the next uh, 10 years more schools so they can continue to serve that pre-K through grade 8, those uh, young students, before they head off to high school, get them off to a good start. Well, we hope they're able to do that. Yeah, yeah. we'll keep watching. Thank you. Good. Thanks, Angela.